Hey, Stampede fans, welcome to another edition of Stampede Weekly. It was a big weekend for the Herd as Sioux Falls earns two more wins and extends their win streak to five games. It all started on Friday night up in Fargo, don't you know? The Stampede down the force by a final of five to nothing. After a so-so start to the game, the Stampede get things going at the 16:30 mark. That's when Troy Loggins found the back of the net to give the Herd a one nothing lead. Kiefer Bellows followed that up off a great pass from Dylan Eichstead just a couple minutes later, and the Herd took a 2 nothing lead into the locker room in the second period. It was uh, Alec Marsh setting up Parker Toomey in a great give-and-go, one of the prettier goals you're going to see of the season. And the Stampede rolled from there as Eichstead would score along with Dakota Joshua in the period. And the Stampede earn a 5 nothing victory over the Fargo for Steph Lekas in between the pipes for the Stampede. He earns the shout-out with 27 saves on the night. And the Stampede extended their win streak to four games and pick up a big two points over the Fargo force. We'll fast forward now to Saturday. The Stampede at home. The 8th Annual Sioux Nation Pet Clinic Wiener Dog Races. A sellout crowd, 10,678 on hand to watch the Stampede take on Team USA. And they were treated to a beautiful game as the Stampede win 2-1. to one. It started in the first period. Look at this shot from Cooper Marodi on the power play. Just a blast into the upper left-hand corner just underneath the crossbar. That gave the Stampede a one to nothing lead. From there, it was to the Dogs. As we had two races in the first intermission, it would be in the first race, Chocolate Take taking home the championship. Then Lucy takes race number two. There was no scoring in the second period. Guys were probably too excited about the championship race between Chocolate and Lucy. And here's some highlights from that. As you'll see, Lucy takes home the title. Nancy Nave from KSFY News. She says the uh, dog, no, no supplements of any kind for Lucy. She's clean, and she wins the race and in a dramatic fashion, taking home the championship. So congratulations to Nancy Nave and Lucy for taking home the 8th Annual Sioux Nation Pet Clinic Wiener Dog Races. From there, we go into the third period, and the Stampede would uh, see Team USA actually tie the game at one and put a little scare into the crowd of t over 10,000, but uh, to no fears. The Stampede, just a couple minutes later, look at this nice rebound goal from Lawton Cordenal. He puts it in on the backhand, and the Stampede win by a final score of 2-1. to one. Art Pry earns the win in goal. He was solid. All, all, all solid all night for the Stampede as they earn their fifth straight victory and yet another home win for the Stampede. We caught up with Lawton Cordenal just a little while ago and asked him to take us through that big goal that sealed the victory for the Stampede on Saturday night. Uh, Dakota Joshua made a pretty big, uh, pretty big hit at center ice there and we uh, caused a turnover and Colin Peters took the puck down the left wing boards and made a nice play than that and I was just there to tap in the rebound. It was a good line play and uh, the team was playing great that night. Cordenal has a point in three straight games and has been playing his best hockey of the season. He says he's starting to feel a lot more comfortable on the ice with his role and that's helping his game overall. Yeah, you know, I've he's just helped me out a lot and he's uh, kind of showing me like what player I need to be on this team and I really like my spot right now so everything's coming together and it's it's been a lot of fun lately. Saturday's game was the second complete sellout of the season with 10,678 fans in attendance. And Cordenal says it's a moment the players won't soon forget. Yeah, it's unbelievable. We experienced it in the home opener, and it was definitely a fun time. You feel like you're in the NHL kind of with all the people there. You look up, and it's actually kind of hard to breathe on the ice. It's, it's pretty hot in there, but it's, it's definitely a fun time. The Stampede have now won five straight games and are 13-3-2 since the winter break. Goaltender Steph Lekas says the team is really coming together at the right time of the year. Yeah, we're starting to go into games knowing that, you know, if we play our game, we should be getting wins out of them. Um, you know, I think before in the beginning of the season, a lot of our games were 50-50, flip of a coin, and now we're really uh, taking advantage of chances and taking games in our favor. Defenseman Dylan Eichstead has been a big part of the Hurt's success of late. He has six points and is a plus seven over his last five games. He agrees with Lekas and sees the team coming together at the right time. Yeah, you know, we're starting to play well at the right time, you know, towards this playoff push. And, uh, yeah, we've been scoring quite a few goals lately. And um, it, it's, really, it's really been good as far as our uh, production throughout the season. It's really built and uh, at the right time uh, in this playoff push. The Herd have won two straight games on the road, and Lekas says that gives the club momentum as they prepare to play their next 10 games away from home. Yeah, for sure. Road games are huge. If you can go into someone else's building and kind of quiet that crowd, it's it's fun. Winning on the road's fun. So uh, we're you know we're building off what we did last week and uh, previously in Des Moines, and hopefully we just keep it going. 
and on the road the herd will go. Over the next 10 games, Sioux Falls will travel from Waterloo to Youngstown to Omaha to Chicago. With all the travel that lies ahead, Cordell says the herd have to stay healthy. Uh, just take care of yourselves. So we got to stay healthy and keep in the gym and just and just be a healthy team. You know, it's it's a grind being on the road for a month straight. And but I think we can uh, I think we can come out with a lot of wins here. So with 17 games left in the regular season and the race for the playoffs extremely tight, Steph Lekas says it makes each and every game until the end of the season that much more fun to be a part of. Yeah, for sure. Every night, you know, we're. Uh we're playing with a purpose to make the playoffs and we know that we need those points and uh, it, that's just that's hockey being fun right there I think uh, it's a blast every night having you know two points mean more than you know just that game the stampede play the first of 10 straight on the road this Friday when they face the Waterloo Blackhawks who are one of the hottest teams in the USHL they've won three straight and have gone nine one and three since falling to the herd back on January 16th Ikestead says the herd know the Hawks are good, but they'll be ready. They're mega skilled up front, you know. Um, but, yeah, they've been playing really well in their last 10 or whatever. So it's going to be a tough uh, tough road battle, uh, but I think we're, we're ready. Looking forward to it. So the Stampedes start their 10-game road trip. Uh, they're going to be spending some time, well, I'll be spending some time in here. This is the moving truck as the Stampede get ready for 10 straight games on the road. Starts this weekend as the Stampede travel to Waterloo and Lincoln. You catch both games live on Kello News Talk 1320, 107.9, and online at Kello.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well, at SF Stampede, for the latest information and up-to-date info on the Stampede games as uh, the Herd look to extend their winning streak on the road here. As for me, well, I guess this is my spot on the bus, so I'm just going to hang out here with the guys, and that'll be... Sorry, Jim. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Guys, sorry. Uh, sorry. Sorry, guys. All right, hold on. Forget it.